Cowtails, preparing cattle for travel in New South Wales. Mick's story. Mick from Manus has some cattle to sell. His friend Jill from Gerildery wants to buy three of his cows. Mick needs to complete three tasks before the cattle can travel. One, check the cows are healthy. Mick checks his copy of Is the Animal Fit to Load? This booklet is based on the animal welfare standards and guidelines. It helps farmers assess that animals are fit to be loaded for transport. He checks the cattle, can bear weight on all four legs, are free from visible injury or distress, are not weak, skinny or dehydrated, are not blind in both eyes or heavily pregnant. If in doubt, leave it out. If Mick was unsure about his stock being fit to load, he would call his local vet to examine them and give specific advice. Mick is a good farmer. He wants to meet his welfare legal responsibilities and makes sure animals that are not fit to travel do not leave his farm. Mick yards the cows overnight and feeds them with hay. He makes sure they will not be off water for longer than recommended. Two, ensure the cows are identified. Cattle must be individually identified with a National Livestock Identification System, NLIS, radio frequency identification device, such as an electronic ear tag. Mick didn't breed the cows. He brought them from a sale yard. Two cows still have their white vendor bred electronic ear tags, which were applied on the property of birth. The third cow lost her electronic ear tag, so Mick applies one of his orange post-breeder electronic ear tags into her right ear. This cow has traceability from Mick's farm onwards, but not back to her property of birth. Three, get an approved movement document. Mick has Livestock Production Assurance, LPA accreditation. This gives him access to the LPA accredited National Vendor Declarations, NVDs. Mick has the choice between a paper NVD or an electronic NVD, eNVD. Mick has a paper NVD book. He checks it is the current version before filling it in. Mick ensures his LPA NVD is clear, correct and complete. An NVD provides a link between where animals have come from and where they are going to. Provides important food safety information about potential veterinary treatment or chemical residues. Helps prevent stock theft. Filling out Part B makes the NVD a transported stock statement, which is a legal requirement when moving stock in New South Wales. Authorised officers, such as police, can stop anyone moving stock in New South Wales and ask to see their transported stock statement. Jill gets Tim the truckie to pick up the cows for her. Tim has been transporting livestock for a long time and he knows how to handle cattle and what sort of trailer he needs. Tim checks the cows are identified with an electronic ear tag and healthy, fit to load. Mick helps Tim load the cattle. Mick rips out the white and green copies of the NVD to give to Tim. Tim keeps the green copy. The original white copy is for Jill. The pink copy stays in Mick's book. Everyone needs to keep their copy for seven years. Tim leaves Manus with the cows. Mick is happy. He is doing the right thing for his farm and his industry. For further information, call local land services 1300 795 299. LPA accreditation or NVDs. Visit integritysystems.com.au